Well, we're back again. It's into the Eurovision. I'm still here in Dublin. I will be over in Vienna next week. Until then, I'm following all the proceedings online. And today, or yesterday as it will be, Molly Sterling, Ireland's hopeful, took to the stage for her first rehearsal. It's a full stage. She has backing singers and her band. Let's take a little look and see how she got on. I was wondering this is wrong. I can't lose this. Just watch as the surface to her first rehearsal today from all reports it went extremely well the camera angles are incredible showing off that stunning forest backdrop I really hope it does enough to get it through she is performing on semi-final two which is on Thursday evening now later on in the afternoon she did take part in a press conference revealing a little bit into the insights behind the song and the staging and her own hopes and ambitions with this year's contest. Let's take a look at that. I was, I went, the first time I went on stage and I was like, I couldn't wait to see the stage because I've never been like, I used to be scared to get up and play in school like in front of assembly. I'd be like, oh no. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know if I can do this. I got off and um, I was kind of sitting there and they were like, okay, 10, 9. I couldn't stop smiling. Like the lights were, it's, oh, it's surreal. Like it's amazing. But then I kind of had to remember like, oh no, sad song, wait. Sad song, channel sad. Oh, <laughs> really yeah. cool. Like, I don't feel. I was asked earlier, do I feel like, oh, Ireland won it so many times? Do you feel pressure? I don't. Sometimes I have to pinch myself, and be like, oh wait, it's competition. But like, it doesn't feel like a competition, and we're just having so much fun. And I think the best performances are brought out of enjoying it. And if you're not enjoying it, why are you doing it? The staging was just trying to like stay true to the song. Like the, um, we were trying to go for kind of make it as atmospheric as possible and warm the warm tones and stuff and um, everybody had a say in the graphics and stuff but uh, there's a there's an amazing team behind that doing that as well so I literally just had to go yeah that's awesome I love it but uh, no there's amazing people doing lights and everything so yeah. Molly tends to go into her own world on stage when she's performing and it's a beautiful thing to see she's in her own space and uh, occasionally she comes out of that space. And the internal visualization that you have with Molly on stage, a contrast to that is an external, surreal, somewhat surreal world. And um, what we hope to achieve with the end result, and that's what we're here rehearsing at the moment to do, is to achieve that lovely contrast between her inner world and um, the outside in a, certain, in a certain way. And we hope it works. We think it will. One, two, <laughs> Three. Freaking awesome. awesome. Okay. <laughs> There's also another way of describing it, and that would be deserving 12 points. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because we've got this great bond, Australia and Ireland, when we give you Duzapar, can we get Duzapar back for Guy Sebastian? And what do you think of his song? It's a question for the Irish Republic. <laughs> um, it's awesome, yeah, but no, uh, yeah, I, well, sure, Ireland loved Aussies, so like, you know, we're all in the yeah, one. Absolutely, yes, <laughs> is what I'm going to say, but we're going to have to ask head of a delegation over here. Well, uh, there's, there's quite a few Australians in Ireland, for a start, I think you've got that going for you. You've also got the fact that, that um, the song is really, really good, and um, I think that, you know, when all things are equal, that's what, you know, you're, is going to make the difference. Well, didn't she do very well? She handled herself so professionally. Remember, she is only 17. So she will be performing again on Saturday. She has a second rehearsal and conference. I will be giving some footage of that over the weekend. And I'll be traveling over to Vienna next week, where I will send some more reports. Until then. <laughs>